Hello and welcome. My name is Mike Gillum, Product Specialist for the Acumatica Construction Edition. In this short video, I'm going to be sharing with you a new feature available in the 2020 R1 release called Cost Projection. Cost Projection or Cost Forecasting is the process of determining final costs, cost at completion, and or remaining costs, costs to complete, as well as percentage complete on the project. Forecasting provides the information to calculate profit at completion, help manage cash flow, and anticipate project shortcomings. Cost projections are a way to specify how much the project is going to cost when it is completed in comparison to the estimate that was set up. Acumatica Construction Edition provides a tool that allows users to determine the level at which forecasts are entered, as well as the ability to keep multiple revisions for historical analysis and review. As you can see on my screen, I've already logged into the Acumatica Construction Edition. I'm sitting on the Construction Workspace, and under Profiles is where we'll find that new cost projection tool. Let's go ahead and click on that. It's going to open up the tool. In the interest of time, I've already filled out some of this information. Up in the header, you can see I've picked my project. I've given it a revision name and description. Uh, over on the right-hand side in the header, we can see the budgeted and projected amounts. Down below in the details is the budget lines where we're going to cost project. I've already picked three here, but it's very easy for me just to click on select budget lines, and I have access to the entire budget for this project. I can pick everything. I can filter by account group, for example, pick and choose which ones I want to cost project for. I've already selected for this particular project. So down below, I've got three line items, and I want you to focus on budgeted costs. We've got our actual costs, cost to complete, projected cost to complete, projected cost at completion, and projected completed percentage. These three fields, when I'm in a status of hold, are editable. So I can come in here, double click, and make a change to this particular projected cost to complete line item, or I can come in and make a change to my projected cost at completion, or I can come in here and start to manipulate my projected completed percentage and see what that does to my budget. For example, on this labor item for my concrete cast in place slab, if I think we're actually at 50% complete and I type that in there, tab out of that field, it just updated my projected cost to complete and at completion. We're seeing that in the line item level as well as up here in the header level. Same thing with these line items. On this piece of equipment for this concrete pump, if I think we're actually at 20% uh, there, I can tab there. It just made that change to my projected cost at completion and cost to complete. And not only do I have the ability to make those cost projections right inside of this window, but I also have the ability to drill down to my commitment details and my transactions. So to help the forecasting process, I can drill into those commitments. I can look at those cost details and historical projections I've made at the click of a button. I don't have to go to another screen or enter into another menu item. Everything's sitting available for me. So once I'm happy with these projections, it's been approved, I can come up here and take this off of hold. And when I click on the actions menu, release is available. You can see also if I had an approval or assignment map set up, it could go through an approval process as well. Once I click release, it's going to automatically update the project with these new projected costs, cost at completion and cost to complete. So everybody on the project has now been notified a change has been made. I also have the ability to come back out to my construction workspace, come down in here to my construction bonding report, and there's a new tab here, use cost projections or a tick box. So I just need to select my project and tick the box, use cost projections. When I click run report, it's now going to add those columns to the report. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. This is a bit of an eye test. So you can see here, I've got my cost to complete and my cost at completion, which has been updated from that cost projection, added to this construction bonding report. Pretty cool feature, we're excited about it. We know our customers are excited about it as well and it'll be available in the 2020 R1 release. I'd like to thank you for your time today. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. If you'd like more information around this feature or around the Acumatica Construction Edition, please reach out to your local Acumatica reseller or on acumatica.com. Thank you for joining me.